Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So my skincare video is finally here. I know I have been saying I was going to be putting out a skincare video for such a long time, but to be honest with you, I was going through a skincare like redo of my whole regimen. I had been trying so many different things for a period of time and it was just like warfare was going on on my face. Honestly, my skin is in a condition that I haven't seen it in a few months because of what I did to it, you know, with me trying out different things. And sometimes it's a little bit of the downfall, especially like with doing YouTube and stuff, is that we try out so many things that sometimes it hurts us in the long run because our skin is just rejecting all of these products. And I never really have problems with makeup doing anything crazy to my skin, but when it comes to skincare, I have I am just one of those people that I found that my skin is at its best when I'm using a skincare system like all from the same line and also um, I just want to mention before I get into the whole skincare process and products that I use I wanted to tell you guys that most of the products that I'm using in this video are from Mary Kay for those of you who don't know um, my mom is in Mary Kay a lot of people ask me if I sell the product whenever I mention a product from the line um, but no I don't my mom is a director with Mary Kay she's been in it for many many years so um, and actually a lot of the products that I have been using I have been using them even like before I started YouTube and um, I've always been on the Mary Kay skincare system like no matter what product it was or what level of skincare it was um, since I was god probably like 12 or so like in middle school when I actually had to start using skincare I have just revisited it back again for the past month or so and my skin is happy once again like I said I think I'm just one of those people that my skin is at its best whenever I use products all from the same line I guess the ingredients just work better together or something I don't know that's just me you can buy Mary Kay on its website but it's really good if you can go find a representative or a consultant or a director just someone who sells it just because um, you can actually have them help you out and they know more about the product than you trying to figure out on its own and I am using using my Spin for Perfect Skin brush in this video. I did make a post about it earlier in the week on Instagram and I am going to do a full review on it. I'm going to do a, de a video dedicated to reviewing that brush because I know some people have questions about it and um, you guys really want to know, you know, what's the deal with this brush. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this on other people's channels or on other people's Instagrams using the brush, but I'll go more into depth about the brush, how I started using it, how it was introduced to me and stuff and what my actual thoughts are on the complete brush itself and the different brush heads it comes with on Monday's video. Um, but for now, I think that's all I have to say to you guys. Um, I'm going to start off the video with my nighttime skincare routine and then going into the daytime skincare routine. So let's get started. Alright guys, so welcome to my nighttime skincare routine. You're about to see me go from 100 to a negative 5. <laughs> Honestly, when I take off my makeup, it's one of my favorite parts. I enjoy it just as much as I um, enjoy putting it on. So let's start the process of how I remove my makeup for the day and what I put on my face before I go to bed. So first things first, I always make sure to remove my false lashes before anything else because, you know, just might as well get them off already. People always ask me how to take off their false lashes whenever I put them on them. Some of my clients will ask me that. So really all you have to do is just get a corner and you just literally peel them away from your eye and they should come off pretty easily. If you have problems with your eyelashes coming off and the band is being really stubborn and it's really sticking to your eye, just get a little bit of eye makeup remover and um, soak the band for a few seconds and they should come right off. Once my eyelashes are, are off, then I go in and I'm gonna remove my eye makeup. What I like to use to remove my eye makeup and what I've been using for years, years I tell you, is the Mary Kay Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. Um, it's just a favorite of mine. It takes off my makeup really quickly, my eye makeup. Um, it takes off waterproof makeup without any hassle, so I really enjoy that. And all I do is I just get a cotton ball and I make sure to soak the band. Make sure you shake it because it is a combination of two solutions and you want them to be mixed together. And once the cotton ball is pretty nice and saturated, I just place it over my eye for a few seconds. and. Um, let it really just soak in there and then I just begin to clean off my eye makeup. You never want to be too harsh around your eye area um, only because you know the skin is very delicate around the eye area and you don't want to damage it. 
So the next product is still kind of new to me, but I've really been liking it for the past couple of nights that I've been using it. Um, usually after taking off my eye makeup, I will use some sort of makeup wipe, or I have used other products similar to the one I'm about to show you, but this is one I've been actually using, and it's at a drugstore price point, and I really, really like it. So this is the Garnier Clean Nourishing Cleansing Oil. It's this little guy right here. So all I do is I take a few pumps onto my hand, and it's really, really oily, and I just start to work it into my face. By the way, this can look really crazy right now. If you're oily, it's totally okay to use an oil cleanser like this one to clean off your makeup. It's not going to make you any more oily. And if you're dry, this is actually a really good way to take off your makeup. So once I massage the oil into my skin, I'm going to use this brush right now to work in the cleanser a little bit more. And I'm taking the cleansing brush head on there. Just going to dip it in some water really quick. You want to mix any type of cleansing oil with water because that's what's going to actually help activate it and take off um, the makeup really well. So once it's soaked in water, I'm going to start massaging it into my skin. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's starting to look like a little white and milky. That's what happens when water meets this cleanser. I don't take this right directly under my eyes, it can be a little too abrasive, but just kind of like right underneath, like right here. Neck. I'm going to go rinse this off and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've washed off that cleansing oil and now we're going to go in to actually cleanse our face. If you have a dry skin, I would recommend and suggest that you could use this totally on its own to clean your face and you can move on to toner and all of that good stuff. But for me, since I do have oily skin, this is basically just a makeup remover for me and now I'm going to go with my cleansing product. So what I use to cleanse my face is my Mary Kay Botanical Effects in this number three solution. There are three different solutions for this cleanser and for the line, because it does come with a toner and moisturizer as well. There's one for dry skin, normal skin, and oily. Since I'm oily, we're using the oily one. Since my face is a little damp already, I'm gonna take just about this much and start working that all over. This is a very gel-like formula and it does get um, soapy which most products for oily skin do. Once I have this worked all over my face, I'm gonna be switching heads on the brush. Now I'm gonna be attaching the exfoliating one. I love to exfoliate very often. Um, it works best for my skin and skin type. And um, this brush head exfoliates very gently so it's not too abrasive or harsh, so you can do it maybe every other day or so, which is what I pretty much do. So I'm turning this on. And just again, working this all over my face. Now I'm gonna go wash the excess soap off. So that my skin is completely clean off of any makeup product and it's nice and dry, we can go on with my additional skincare products. So what I like to use, especially on the areas where I have a breakout or so, and as I mentioned earlier, I've got this little guy right here. Anyway, so on any blemishes that I may have coming through or that I see appear on my skin, I will go in over those areas only with the Mary Kay Clear Proof Blemish Control Toner. This has 2% salicylic acid. Um, you can use it all over the face if you are very acne prone and experience a lot of acne in a large area of your face or in multiple areas of your face. I use it more so just as like a spot treatment toner. So um, it can be very harsh. If you're very sensitive, I would not recommend this product. My skin is not sensitive whatsoever. <laughs> so um, it doesn't bother me in any way. And it does really help control um, any breakouts I may be experiencing. So again, I take it onto a cotton ball and I just put a little bit on one side. And like I said, only on the areas where I feel like I need it. So definitely right now it's gonna be right here to get this guy under control. And um, kind of maybe over here because I think I saw a little something, something happening over here. Next, I like to go in with my nightly eye cream. Do not laugh. At the packaging of this product because I had dropped it multiple times the lid is still going strong but it's hanging on for dear life <laughs> I use my Bobbi Brown extra repair eye cream look at the lid it's awful it fell from my medicine cabinet and I have tile in my bathroom and it just like totally I was like so glad that the jar didn't crack but this did because this products expensive so I've been using this product for 
gosh, months already. I received it actually when I was still working um, with Bobby Brown. So it's been about six months and I still have a long way to go. If you guys really want a really heavy and really powerful eye cream, I highly recommend this one. I'll take about like this much on my nail and even that is like too much. You really don't need that much. And what to do with an eye cream like this or any really thick eye cream or thick skincare product is you really want to warm it up. So I get it on my ring finger and I just start to warm it up between both of my ring fingers and then I will just pat it into my eye. Next, I go in with my Mary Kay Nighttime Solution. This is basically a serum, a very lightweight serum for the nighttime. It really activates and works while you're sleeping, while you're not out and about. It's just really going to soak into the skin overnight and it has these little micro beads in it which contain vitamins which burst when you pump out the product. I take about two pumps of this and I just work it all over my skin. Then I like to go in with my Even Complexion Essence. So this product is really more geared towards people who have um, maybe some dark spots on their face already or some light acne scarring or have a complexion that's not totally even. This product will brighten up your skin so much and make your skin tone so much more even. I use it for the purpose that when I do get breakouts, my scarring can be really um, obvious where you can see like the dark marks where my acne or pimple had once been. This actually helps kind of clear out my skin and makes my skin tone really even. So so I've been using this stuff forever, so I really like it and I've always gotten compliments on my complexion, so I find that as a way to prove that it works. Again, I take about two pumps, so maybe about that much. Actually, you should only use one. That's kind of a lot now that I'm looking at it. And again, I just kind of work it all over. Then I like to go in with my moisturizer as one of my last steps. This is the same Mary Kay line that my cleanser is from. This is the Botanical Effects Hydrating Cream. This is just the moisturizer, also in the number three, which is suitable for oily skin. I just take a little bit, maybe about a dime size amount, and work it all over my skin as well. So, while I'm sleeping, I do like to spot treat my pimples that may have come through that day or any little problem area. If it's that time of the month, I definitely get hormonal breakouts. But what I like to do to take care of those is I actually will put on an acne gel solution. This is again from that same line from Mary Kay that my toner was from and it is the clear proof acne gel. Basically it's just a spot treatment. You don't want to put this all over your face. Just put it on areas that you have a pimple and a very small amount. Again, a little goes a long way. And it really dries out your acne or any breakout really fast. And I'm going to place it right on this bad boy. Not only do I like to take care of moisturizing my face, but I also take care of moisturizing my lips and lashes. <laughs> so for my lips, I do like to use my Vaseline Lip Therapy. This is like the best lip balm I've ever used. Like I don't care what people say about some of like those really popular lip balms that some of them are really expensive too and they just say like, oh, it's the most hydrating thing in the world. Like no, to me this is just like like my ride or die. I love this lip balm. You can find this at CVS, anywhere they sell Vaseline product. I just get a little bit and apply that regularly like how you apply any lip balm. And then for my lashes, a while back when I had shown you guys my um, makeup show, my Dallas makeup show haul, I mentioned that I picked up this product at the makeup show. This is the Grande Lash Lash Serum. It's supposed to help with the growth of your eyelashes. and. I've been using it for about, let's see, June, three months already, and I'm in love with the results that I got from this. I'm not going to say my lashes look extravagantly long, but the way I've noticed to tell that this has definitely worked for me is in my bottom lashes, especially because I pretty much wear false lashes almost all the time, so you can't really tell like from my pictures um, my top lashes, but if you were to go back like before June, like on any of my Instagram pictures, an up close shot of my eye and compare it to an up close shot of my eye now, my bottom lashes look crazy long. Is you literally just apply it like you would a liquid eyeliner, just like right on top and on bottom as well. You can use this for your eyebrows as well if you have any areas in your eyebrows that you feel like are a little sparse. So it's pretty cool. And then one last thing that I like to do, especially on a day where I felt like maybe I need a little bit extra treatment for my skin, um, 
I will go in, and this is just a little tester bottle, but I've been using it since I got it. It's been a little while, probably over a month already that I've had this product, and I'll use it from time to time during the nighttime. It is a face oil. It is from Fresh, um, that line Fresh. Is it Fresh Cosmetics? I think it's just called Fresh. And it is their Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil. It's this little guy right here. This is just a tester tube. It came with a little Sephora point perk thing. I just take like a few drops of this stuff, like four drops. And a little goes a long way on this also. And I'll just apply it and just kind of pat it into my skin. And that sums up my nighttime skincare. So I'm going to start getting ready for bed now. And I'll see you guys in the AM for my morning skincare. And then I'll complete the skincare video. Good morning, guys. I actually shouldn't be saying good morning. It is noon already where I'm at. I was really bad today. I slept in. But anyway, so you just finished watching my nighttime portion of my skincare routine. Now this is going to be the morning daytime version for you guys. So I did just get out of the shower and while I was in the shower, I didn't feel the need to show you guys again. But what I did in the shower was cleanse my face again with the Mary Kay Botanical Effects in the number 3 formula for oily skin using my Spin for Perfect Skin brush from Vanity Planet with the cleansing brush head. And yes, I do cleanse morning and night. Some people think it's weird. Um, I have had people ask me, why do you cleanse in the morning if you were just asleep, like you didn't do anything, you weren't sweating? Well, you produce oils while you're sleeping, and of course you have dead skin cells coming off of you all the time, so you want to really remove all of the oils that your skin pushed through in the night, especially for someone like me that have oily skin. Also, if you have dry skin, you could have gotten maybe dehydrated during the night, and you use your moisturizing cleanser to help replenish back some of those oils back in the face that you lost. Then what I also did, and I'm not going to show you guys here, but I did use my Mary Kay Microdermabrasion Step 1. I'm someone that I exfoliate like three times a week and I will microdermabrasion two to three times a week. If you have sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend this, doing it that often, but since I don't, it's totally okay for me and I find that my skin is so much healthier and better when I exfoliate very often. And as you can tell, my neck is definitely a different color than my face because for that reason. So I did use this in the shower. It has really fine granulated crystals kind of looking like things <laughs> and when you rub it against your face, you can just really feel it gently exfoliating and it takes off all like the dead skin. It's just, it feels really good after. Afterwards. So you take about a nickel size amount and I do this in the shower two to three times a week So today was one of those days then there's a second part to that microdermabrasion system And that's what I'm going to continue doing right now So after you microdermabrasion you're going to go on with this step two It's the replenish serum from Mary Kay and all this really does is kind of soothe back um, the skin because microdermabrasion can be a little abrasive but this just really helps with um, replenishing back your skin surface and also, when you microdermabrasion, you remove a light layer of skin, so you really want to be careful into not, um, you know, leaving your skin completely bare afterwards because your skin is like really fresh and um, it's just not okay. So after that's on, I'm going to go in with my daytime eye cream lately, and I'm just using this until I finish it, but I use the Benefit Puff Off. This is basically just like a soothing eye cream. It just really helps brighten and cool down any swellingness that you may have. I am someone that when I wake up, my eyes are super puffy, so even right now I feel like they're really like squinty and I'm like, I can really see my eyes. So this just really helps with that. It has a really nice cooling sensation because it has this little metal applicator. I just take like a little ironing board, so it's really cute, or a little iron, so it's really cute. So all you do is just place it right underneath the eye. It feels really good because it's nice and cold. It just kind of like wakes me up. And then I'll get my finger and just kind of work the excess into the eye area. So once the eye cream is on, then after that, I'm going to go in again with my Even Complexion Essence. So I did use this in my nighttime skincare routine as well. I use it morning and night. A lot of these products I use both day and night, so it's just a very uh, select few that are different. I'm going to apply this all over and on my neck. And then for my large pores, this is a new product that I've been using for about a month or so already and I love it. It is the Pore Minimizer from Mary Kay Cosmetics as well. 
it has no scent whatsoever you can use it if you're dry or oily I found that it's made a difference in the size of my pores and I just feel like in my texture overall I just take about one full pump and just apply it and I really like to focus it on those areas where I have larger pores which is pretty much the center of my face so on my nose and then out towards my cheeks because my large pores are really like right in this area here you can use this day or night. I just stick to using it during the day. Um, I don't know why I don't use it at night. I just I just prefer to use it during the daytime. I feel like it um, really helps with my makeup application as well too. So that's why. And then last but not least, going in once again with my moisturizer. This is again also the one I used last night. This is the Botanical Effects Hydrating Formula in number three. <sighs> So if I were to be going out without any makeup, for instance, like a no makeup day, or if I was wearing a very thin layer of foundation or just powder, what I would do is make sure I put on sunscreen before stepping out of my house. The sunscreen that I really love to use for my face is from Bobbi Brown. It is their protective face base. It has SPF 50. But since I'm going to be wearing makeup today with foundation, usually foundation has so much pigment in it that it will act as a barrier so you don't get any sun damage. Or I have foundations that have SPF in it already. But since I'm going to be using a full coverage foundation today, I'm not going to find the need to use this. But I love this for, like I said, no makeup days or when you're going out to the beach, you don't want to wear any makeup out on the island, or you're just wearing powder. So it just really helps protect against the sun, which is very important. So I'm going to put on my makeup now and I will see you guys. Alright guys, so my makeup is on and um, that's pretty much all that I do for my skincare routine day and night. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope I answered some of the questions that I know you guys have asked me before about what skincare products I use. So if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to ask me down below in the comments. Check the description box. Everything will be listed as far as what products I use. And yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.